go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to be back on YouTube I know it's been a long time and I got really slack for the last six months um, but I'm really really excited to be back and to be completely honest this is pretty deep for the start of my vlog but for the last six months I've been in a really dark place um, I think it was just burnout you know just a lot happening. Dad's got his second round of chemo, planner season, trying to be a mom and a wife and all that stuff. So I'm just trying to really like get out of that headspace. I don't remember the last time, I don't think I've ever been that burnt out. It was crazy. So I'm back and I don't, I hate doing things half-assed. I've definitely been doing YouTube half-assed for a while now, but I'm really excited for this year. I've got some big goals. My big goal is balance. I've really learned that, because I started my business, I thought it was gonna be in the garage, and then it obviously is not. And I know that you know it's okay to ask for help, and that's something I've only just recently just kind of got that revelation that I need to hire the right people for my business. So that's what's been going on with me. We had a really good break. We went to Queensland and the girls absolutely loved it. I felt really lost at the start of the holiday because I haven't really stopped for ages. And then, um, yeah, and the girls loved it. We just lots of swimming, a few drinks, well, more than a few drinks, but it was really, really good. So we only got back last week and we're straight back into work. Um, it's been a bit of an adjustment, especially for Willow, I think, because she's used to she's now used to having me 24 7 and then i've had to go back to work so it's been a bit of a struggle but definitely am coming out of that dark place so if you're also someone and i know many of us are feeling this way at the moment with everything that's happening with the c word it's been like a really weird couple of years today is tuesday normally today i'm at work but because we are like really behind with orders for step based planners, I'm going to be packing orders for the rest of the week. So today's my day to be with the kids. I'm going to be doing a deep clean, some decluttering, just all that fun stuff. Today's actually day two of my Get Motivated Challenge. I'll put the links below, but it's a free challenge I'm running. It's just like a really good way for all of us to kind of get motivated for this year. It's like small tasks you do every day. And Ryan and I are both doing the Equolution 8-week challenge. So I'll link that vlog below as well, but we've done it before. It's 
basically counting macros and I don't count macros year round. It's just when I have goals and because Ryan's doing it as well, I'm really excited to, you know, we're going to do it together. So it's going to be awesome. So I'll definitely be sharing our progress over the next few weeks, what we eat, all that stuff. Um, my training will pretty much stay the same, except my goal is to run three times a week. Cause I always say I'm going to run and then I do it maybe like once and <laughs> it freaking sucks and I die. But um, it's something that I feel like I'm going to get into. Today, I have to take Harper to an ENT appointment. As you guys remember, she had surgery, so it's like a follow-up appointment. And yeah, I want to get stuck into deep cleaning and decluttering, all that fun stuff. Is if you started this year not feeling like, you know, ready to smash goals and all that stuff, I just want to let you know, like, that's okay. Just taking it day by day and I'm actually one of my goals this year is actually to slow down um, which is funny because we're in such a hustle culture like the more you flog yourself then it's like more successful and all this stuff but definitely learned um, over the last year or so that sometimes slower is better and it's the same like in terms of you know even organizing your home instead of flogging yourself and trying to do it all in one weekend and then not being, being able to sustain it, do it bit by bit and same with fitness. Don't go so hard on this really stupid strict diet, flog yourself in the gym and then you can't sustain that lifestyle. So I feel like it's good to slow things down sometimes and don't give yourself a million goals. Just give yourself a couple. So mine are literally um, getting to running and slow down and get some help with the business so yeah my skin has been terrible probably like the worst it's been in 10 years and i'm thinking definitely hormonal but stress as well um so i'm actually working with a, a naturopath to see what's going on i'm very excited to kind of get some answers good morning did you have a good sleep yeah mm -hmm. you're so sure delicious <laughs> I feel your girlfriend. I feel you. What was your favorite part of holidays? Um, the airplane. Airplane? It's not my favorite part. Mm, I, I like know. a bus. You like the bus? So not like the pool or going to movie world? Actually, I like movie world. And me too. Okay. Well, that's good. We're going to have brekkie. Yeah? No. No? Yes. Well, I'm starving. Got a dopamine rush, got a majorly crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? So I'm going to make my breakfast smoothie. It is delicious. Miss Willow, what would you like? Apples. You want apples? I started getting the Willow because Willow loves apples, but she always wastes them. So now I get these mini ones, which I haven't opened yet. One half off. You get stuck in your teeth. Mm. Do you want me to cut you one up? Okay, I'll cut you an apple. So anyway, I've been having these smoothies. Oh, didn't know that was there. Day in the life of a YouTuber. Not really, I'm a real shit one. Mommy, just gotta cut this up. Keep your hands away, bub. So anyway, usually for brekkie, I'll have protein oats um, or a protein shake with like, oh, very good, with like banana and stuff. Anyway, it wasn't filling me up. Anyway, so 
started adding like peanut butter in and like good fat and that helps so much so if you're someone who gets really hungry after breakfast try making sure you've got some good like healthy fats in there because it really made a big difference for me so i'm going to make my smoothie now once i finish the kids breakfast and i will show you mommy is this my breakfast yeah, you've had like four courses. Willow loves food, it's great. Harper's more of a snacker. And then I can have custard. Custard? You can have custard after dinner. Yeah, it's Not for breakfast. But is this Are my you? breakfast? Yes. Oh, Alright, so I've got ice and water. My favourite, this is my favourite protein for smoothies. It's caramel from donut. It is delicious. And then I put banana and then I put like a teaspoon just over a teaspoon of um peanut butter and it is so good girls don't fight please Check. kids lately have been fighting like cat and dog still my head in i remember the day when we started talking we were kids and i knocked down all of your marbles but you did not seem to mind Mr. Pace dropped by and bought me an iced coffee. What a legend. What a legend. Trying to get brownie points. I am. So, also, we've been building, well, digging the new block. Digging in the Ryan's rain with that shocking weather. Yeah. Shocking. But. Yeah, because it's, it's a lot of digging, but he's getting it done. She just yeah. said he came home on Saturday and he was just completely covered in mud. <laughs> covered in mud. <laughs> Covered in mud. Ah, okay. <laughs> Haven't changed a bit in my heart. Your words have never been wrong. You are my own safety zone. You're solid like a granite stone. ready to go for Harper's appointment and then I had this like feeling I was like maybe I'll just call up and make sure because it's half an hour away and you know it's like taking your kids to the doctors especially when it's half an hour away and then they had been trying to call me and I'm really bad like I'm really bad at listening to my voicemail I don't know why it gives me like anxiety because it's usually about work so I really need to stop doing that anyway so they're trying to contact me so our appointment isn't for a few more weeks. I'm really lucky that we didn't actually go because that would have sucked. So now I have more time to clean. But um, usually Tuesdays I do payroll and invoices. So I want to do a semi-clean. I'll do like a proper deep cleaning video with you guys another time. But I want to do a bit of cleaning, do some payroll. And then I'm going to go for my afternoon walk. Um... I had to run to work this morning because after I was when I was vlogging my card, memory card ran out of space. I looked everywhere, had none, so I had to run to work. And lucky I did because I had to get some pallets out for the girls um, to pack orders today. So that worked out really well. So it's now nearly two o'clock. But I'm gonna get cleaning and then yes. But while I'm cleaning, I'm gonna listen to my favorite podcast at the moment. It's called Murder with My Husband. You guys know I love true crime. Bailey Sarian, Danielle Kirsty, I think her name is. She's really good to watch too. And they just like do their makeup and tell you about true crime. But yeah, this podcast is really good. So if you're someone who, if you hate cleaning, listen to podcasts because it really does help. It makes you not think about what you're actually doing. So I'm going to do that now. I also did mermaid hair. Oh, hair extension update. They're going so well. I've had them for nearly two months now. And that is like the keratin bonds. They're in the last um, vlog I did. But yeah, it's super easy to look after. Got them toned. As you guys can see, I went a little bit darker again. A bit more natural, which I'm really liking at the moment. Just a bit less maintenance than the full blonde. I did like the short blonde hair, but it was a bit high maintenance for me. And honestly, guys, I'm pretty fucking lazy. So, I want to get cracking. Give the pantry a good clean out. That hasn't 
had like the shelves fully cleaned out and go through all the food in the tubs to see if anything's expired. That's really a good thing to do every couple of months. All right guys, we're all familiar with my pantry, but I haven't wiped out these shelves in a while. I need to refill some oil bottles, go through all the snacks. The kids tend to just eat them and then leave the packets. So it can get like, not messy, but you know what I mean? Like a bit cluttered, like there's a bit much. Um, so I want to go through them all, clear it out. Anything that we, that's like, yeah, expired or the kids have just left empty wrappers because it's them. I do try to keep on top of it every week, but I think it just, all the shelves need like a really good deep clean. So that is what we're going to be doing. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again, so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign, baby give me a sign. One more talking to you talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign I just wanna let you know I could go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Alright guys, so if you're new to my channel and you're wondering about the oil bottles, basically why I did that is to like condense the space so you're not having all these different size bottles that's going to take up a lot of your pantry. Obviously we have a larger pantry but in our old pantry we didn't have much room so bottles like this would be way too bulky so I keep this in another cupboard. You can keep it in like a cupboard that you don't really use often but at least in your pantry you have all different types of oils that you can just easily reach for and it's not going to take up like room and it's not going to be annoying to like grab each of them and stuff like that so that's why i do that and it looks really nice and i just like to label everything let's be honest all right i'm done and i'm very sweaty and disgusting <laughs> i don't know if i could do the rest of the deep cleaning guys anyway i rearranged a little bit just so our like protein powders and pre-workouts are just like a bit more accessible so i'll quickly show you that now but yes, I basically just really needed to wipe down the shelves, go through some things. There were a fair few things out of date, and I swear I only did it maybe like eight months ago, but you know, time goes fast. So yes, went through it. I do need to refill a few things like the rice up the top and stuff like that, like those ones. But honestly, when you, when you find a system that works for you and your family, it is not hard. Like obviously these can get quite full, like these tubs, but it's never like chaos, if you know what I mean. So find our system that works for you. I used to, as you guys know, we used to live in a, like a one bedroom unit. Our, we had to share our pantry with the linen closet, so we had no room. So I understand what it's like to have no room. Um, so this year, my plans are to actually go into people's homes and organize their spaces. So you should be able to see some new spaces, which will be really good. So I'm very excited for that. So that would be this year as long as the C word lets me, not everyone is isolating all the time. You guys probably won't even notice, but I moved meal bases down the bottom here to fit with the backstock and the pasta sauces. 
side dishes now have a bit more room as well so I can add an extra tub in there um, this is all the same so the only ones I changed is I put health foods here and I filled it with our protein powder um, so it's like a lot more accessible because otherwise we're always in the cupboard and then all our pre-workouts are in here as well which is really easy yes that is the little deep clean I did for the pantry doesn't look like I did much but I did I promise Mr. Pace is doing a workout in the garage, which is good to see. Now we're doing the challenge together. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's so good to be back. Sorry if it was all over the place. I'm sorry I didn't get to deep clean the whole house, but you know, it is what it is. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next week. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.